Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to download high resolution land cover maps from Google Earth Engine. So this data is being generated by, from the dynamic world. So you can have a look at this dynamic world. You just need to type in dynamic world in uh, Google and search for it. You'll be landing in this website, dynamic world. So it is providing us a 10 meter resolution, global scaled, AI powered, near real time, land cover data sets and you can see the nine classes and the cover types so first is water followed by tree grass crops shrubs and herbs flooded vegetation built up area bare ground snow and ice so it is uh, developed uh, based on the sentinel 2 images and it is uh, developed by uh, jointly developed by google and the world resource institutes institute so if you want to find more about it, you can just click on about section and you can just know more about this uh, land cover data how and how they are processing. So the dynamic world offers a global land cover updating every two to five days depending on the location. So it has been uh, done using the AI powered approach model based on the satellite Sentinel-2 satellite images. So for every pixel in the image estimates the degree of the tree cover. So we can also thank the European Commission and Copernicus program because European Space Agency, they are uh, freely giving this uh, data openly available. So now let us go into the Google Earth engine. So the first step is we are going to select a boundary. So I am defining a variable called as country. I am just giving a name called as country. So is equal to I am just uh, using this uh, feature collection. So this gives the world uh, political boundary for uh, countries so in order to add this uh, international country boundary asset you just uh, go to the search option and here type in international boundary and it will be you can see large scale international boundary polygon simplified so if you just click on it you can copy the asset or you can directly import the asset so I just copied it and after that I have pasted it over here now after that you can see we have defined variable separate variable called as selected country so from this collection we are going to just uh, take only one country so for that I am using selected country is equal to we are using the option country dot filter so so we are just filtering by the country name so you can see I have used the e filter dot eq that is nothing but equal to so you can see the field i have given is country na and the country name is kenya right so how to find that if you just click on it in the uh, table schema you can find it country name country code abbreviation and uh, world region likewise you can select by the attribute so i am just using country na means country name that is kenya you can choose appropriately and the next step is we are going to add the layer called as selected country so Kenya is the country which we have selected we are going to add it and after that I am using the function map.center object so by using this function it will be automatically centered based on the country that is uh, the Kenya Kenya shape file or any countries which you have selected and this is the zoom level you can choose it up approximately uh, 7 or 8 based on the uh, area of your country and if you just come down you can see the next option is we are going to filter by date so what we are going to filter is we are going to uh, import this LULC so here I am just defining a name LULC and after that I am going to specify the asset ID or asset location so you can see here we have already seen this uh, dynamic world that is what we are going to search for in the asset section the search just uh, type in dynamic world one now you can see now you can find the asset copy the asset id or link or if you want you can import it also so let me close it and after uh, copying it and just pasting it over here then after that what I am doing is I am just filtering it by date so this data is available from the year 2021 
so I'm just putting it 2024 I haven't tried for 2025 you can just try it and please let me know in the comment section so the next step is we are going to clip with our study area or area area of interest so in this case you can see I have defined uh, once again I have defined a variable called as image new variable called as image for clipping the LULC data so I am using this double e dot image function so double e dot image help us to warp the result of the mosaic to ensure it is treated as an uh, object so it's just for an in case if it isn't treated as an e dot image it will using this function it will be treating as an e dot image object and next you can see we have just uh, told the LULC so from here we have taken the LULC and we have used the function dot mosaic so mosaic combines the image in the collections into a single image by taking the two images so it is very useful when multiple images overlap and you want to get a single image seam seamless image out of it so after mosaicing we are just using the function dot clip so we are clipping by the selected country you can see the selected country we have defined does Kenya right now after that we are using the print option to print the LULC image in the console and followed by that is we are going to display the clipped image using label so once again we are defining a variable called as clipped LULC so in that we are using this clipped image from the above and we are using the select function for label and in the visualization parameter we are using the minimum and maximum value the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 8 and based on this value we are just giving some color codes for it so this let me show you how I have given the minimum and maximum value if you just go on to this dynamic world v1 I'll be sharing the link you can check it out uh, inside the bands option you can find just come down for each of the classes difference values are being given 0 to 8 so you can find 0 represents water 1 represents tree likewise you can also find the color codes here itself you can take it and copy it and paste it there right now after that I'll be also giving this codes in the link you can use it so this is the list of names corresponding to this value 0 means water 1 means tree likewise you can see we have before that we have given the color codes from here you can find out that and after that we are using the we are just labeling it based on the values and followed by that you can see finally we are using the map dot add layer and we are using the clip LULC from here which we have uh, used for displaying the land use land cover in google earth engine followed by the visualization parameters which we have the fixed 0 to 8 color schemes and names for it and followed by that we are just giving a name if it is coming in this under layer it will be coming for that we have assigned a name called as land use land cover 2024 finally after doing it we are going to export it to google drive so i am using this function export dot image dot to drive in order to export it to google drive and followed by that you can see the image so in image we are using the clipped image from here and in the description you can give any description here I'm just uh, just giving it as land use land cover class creation 2024 and followed by the projection system and you can change the scale also you can change the projection system also here so let me change the EPSC based on Kenya so here I am going to define the, define the scale as 50 you can use the scale uh, 10 uh, because uh, Kenya, is, uh, Kenya is a big uh, nation so I am just using in this for showing you I am just using the scale as 50 otherwise you can set it to 10 ok so finally the region is our study area so we have defined already that is a selected country Kenya we have already defined it at the top selected country and finally if you come down you can find the max maximum pixels so I have set it to the maximum pixels 
that is as it is a big area so i'm just setting it to this where you can uh, export up to 1 trillion pixels so defaultly you can export 100 million pixels so just for uh, in case i am just using this option so now when you are done you can just click on run so you can see here first the study area boundary has been come up because we have we wanted that to be displayed over here map dot center object first we have use the map dot add layer so it has been added after that you can see here we have centered it and next is we are going to wait for this land cover data to be getting loaded so if it's a huge area it may be taking some time so please uh, do wait patiently so once it has been loaded so you can see here you can also export it you go on to the console you can find it find the information about this zero means water one means tree likewise the taskbar you can run for exporting it so if you have already created a folder just input the folder name and you can customize the file name also I'm just leaving it as it is and the file type is geotiff you can see the scale I have set it to 50 if you want you can change it also here or here also now click on run to export it now the process has been started you can check the progress over here the export has been completed you can open it and see it in the drive so we have given the folder name and inside that it has been stored you can download the file so the file has been started to download you can see this file size 21.1 MB so you can comfortably export it in a 10 meter scale no problem will be there so once the download has been completed let us import the file you can see here land use land cover classification 2024 before adding it let us go to the properties and here just go to the top and you can find no data value click on edit so compute it here 255 is no data value click on ok we're going to uh, make it zero and click on ok apply click ok now let us add the data so land use land cover classification 2024 now you can see here so basically it will be coming like this it will be coming in stretched format so if it is coming like that you just need to switch to unique values so you can find the unique values here zero represents water apply it so from where I'm getting is that uh, you can find it in the dynamic world one so one is trees two is grass likewise likewise you can uh, get the you will be getting the values information and you can uh, give the color code accordingly one in the meanwhile if you are interested to bring in the shape file which are already imported to google earth engine or study area file to google earth engine let us see how to use it and uh, get get it for your study area now let us remove this line now here we are going to not filter any country instead of that we are going to add our study area so I am just defining <coughs> my area that is nothing but our study area boundary dot geometry just for example I have given this name now you can see here in the assets section I have already have uh, some shape files this is my study area as in this example let me import it to the script by clicking on this option so once I have in, uh, imported it, you can see defaultly it has been given the variable table. So what I'm going to do is, so the default variable name is a table for this uh, shape file. So I'm going to change it here as table button short, right? Now I have defined it, defined the study area over here. Now you can see here already uh, we have uh, given this uh, variable name a uh, selected country 
so let it be as it is because uh, we'll be making a couple of changes if you if you need to change this uh, name so I'm going to just leave it as it is now let us run the uh, script and let us see how it comes up click on run script and you can see here first uh, the study area boundary has come up so this is the study area boundary and uh, next is uh, we'll be getting the land use uh, data as well just wait for it so you can see here the land use data has been loaded up for our study area and uh, yeah let me unselect it and uh, you can also export it if you go on to this uh, tasks you can easily uh, click run and export simple procedure so once again thanks for watching if you find this video helpful please do uh, give us a like and subscribe to the channel goodbye everyone bye